Thanks for coming back at y'all. Yeah, I wanted to get in with y'all on this uh, Second Thessalonians um, chapter one, and I want to start from uh, verse five, and this is talking about uh, encouragement during persecution uh, because of what it, what we are looking forward to and uh, what God, what Jesus' is return or coming in the clouds uh, to uh, you know have His people caught up into the air to be with them forever. Um, so the persecution and, um, you know, all the things, the bad things that are prophesied to happen or the uh, people coming against the church and uh, people falling away from the church wanting to believe a lie, uh, these things will be hard to get through, uh, but we will get through these things, you know, through our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Uh, so let me start from um, first. That's, I'm sorry, 2 Thessalonians chapter 1, um, starting with verse 5. But God will use this, but God will use this persecution to show his justice. For he will make you worthy of his kingdom, for which you are suffering. And in his justice, he will punish those who persecute you. And God will provide rest for you who are being persecuted and also for us when the Lord Jesus appears from heaven. So once again, this is the appearing from heaven. This is the rapture, the rapture of the church, because both the dead, Paul, all of these people that are in this, this um, sleep or rest in the Lord, who believed in the Lord and served and rested in their works, the works for the Lord that they've done, and believing in that Jesus is Lord and Savior, these people are dead, but they are resting, and they're waiting for our Lord, just as we are waiting, the ones who are alive, um, and will see these miraculous things that will take place, uh, signs in the sky, and the sun, and the moon, and the stars, the heavens will be shaken, the throne coming, um, and w to where everyone in the whole world will be able to see it, no one will be able to say, hey, Jesus is in the desert, or Jesus is on TV, or, you know, I mean, he's here right with me, no, he's will be coming in the clouds, coming from heaven, as Jesus appears from heaven, just as they said, uh, he will come, and this is called the rapture, he will come with his mighty angels in flaming fire, bringing judgment on those who don't know God and on those who refuse to obey the good news of our Lord Jesus. They will be punished with everlasting destruction, forever separated from the Lord and from his glorious power when he comes to receive glory and praise from his holy people. And you will be among those praising him on that day, for you believed what we testified about him. So, once again, on that day, it's not the seven-year tribulation. It's the, it's the uh, time period before the seven-year seven -year tribulation, which is the rapture. And, uh, and that's, that's what we'll be prepared for. That's why he's saying, and you will be among those praising him on that day. You'll be praising Jesus when you see these things in the sky. You'll be praising Jesus when... You know, uh, the antis looks like the one world government, the Antichrist, and all that stuff is about to be revealed. You will be praising Jesus, waiting for this day. And uh, the devil, oh, let me, keep, let me keep going, man. And so we keep on praying for you that our God will make you worthy of the life to which he called you. And we pray that God, by his power, will fulfill all your good intentions and faithful deeds. And then everyone will give honor to the name of our Lord Jesus because of you, and you will be honored along with him. This is all made possible because of the undeserved favor of our God and Lord Jesus Christ. Events prior to the Lord's second coming. This is uh, chapter 2. And this will go all the way from the rapture all the way to the second coming of Jesus Christ, which is the defeat of the antichrist the second coming is a is the second coming is a different is a different event from the lord's day uh the day of the lord or the, the lord's day is the rapture and that's what brings in the seven year tribulation and then the second coming of the lord jesus is the um the him coming back and destroying the antichrist and setting up his reign uh for a thousand years um on the earth and then Satan is bound <coughs> bound in that thousand years not to deceive the nations and he's uh, let out of his prison after that thousand years uh, to deceive all the nations and 
he uh and that battle when he when uh, Jesus defeats the Antichrist it's called Armageddon uh, and after the thousand years when Satan is released out of his prison um, at his bottomless pit prison um, it will be he'll gather all the nations and all the people who are still against Jesus and um, a countless number, uh, as much as the sea seal, and that's right. Jesus will win. That's correct. Um, he destroys. He here forever. He he destroys uh, the armies of the Antichrist and all of them with uh, the um, breath out of his mouth, and they all consumes them. And fire from the heavens comes and destroys. Uh, well, after the breath out of Jesus' mouth comes and destroys uh, the Antichrist and his armies. Then uh, after the anti, I mean after that that happens. Then uh, the seven-year tribulation. I'm sorry. The uh, the the devil will be unloosed out of his prison after this thousand-year reign of Jesus Christ on the earth. Um, he'll ga gather all the people, and that's, this battle is called um, all across the world. Um, this called battle is called Gog and Magog. The Gog and Magog, and. Um, this is the final war, and uh, once Satan is defeated easily, fire comes from heaven and destroys all of the armies, and Satan is locked up in, uh, in this place, that, uh, the lake of fire that's made for him and all who d disobey Jesus uh, to be tortured and uh, be separated from the Lord forever and ever. Uh, so here it is. Uh, let's see. And now, brothers and sisters, let us tell you about the coming again of our Lord Jesus Christ and how he will be gathered together to meet him, how we will be gathered together to meet him. Please don't be so easily shaken and troubled by those who say that the day of the Lord has already begun. Even if they claim to have had a vision, a revelation, or a letter supposedly from us, don't believe them. Don't be fooled by what they say, for that day will not come until there is a great rebellion against God and the man of lawlessness is revealed. See, so the day of the Lord, the day that we get raptured, that will not come until the man of law, until the great rebellion against God and the man of lawlessness is revealed, the one who brings destruction. He will exalt himself and defy every God there is and tear down every object of adoration and worship. The Revelation chapter 13, God, that's who this is, the Antichrist. He will position himself in the temple of God, claiming that he himself is God. Don't you remember that I told you this when I was with you, and now I am now and and you know what is holding him back, for he can be revealed only when his time comes. His time can only come when we are taken away, when the rapture of the church is taken away, when the people come and the people when God comes and gets us, that's when he can come and take over his reign. But until that of once, yeah. So he can't take the Antichrist can't take his reign until the, the church is gone. When the church is gone, then the Antichrist can take his reign. The seven-year tribulation begins. Uh, not, but we will not be. We will be saved from this time of anguish that the world has never seen before. First, the dead will rise in Christ, and then the ones who are alive on this earth will be saved. Before we don't have to take the chip. We don't have to do any of that. We'll be saved in Jesus' name. You understand? For this lawlessness is already at work secretly. And it will remain secret until the one who is holding it back steps out of the way. Then the man of lawlessness will be revealed, whom the Lord Jesus will consume with the breath of his mouth and destroy by the splendor of his coming. Okay, so like I said, this is the second event uh, of the coming of the Lord, the second, the second coming of the Lord. Um, because this is when the Antichrist is revealed and he takes his reign. And uh, he sets himself up as God uh, to the world, to the whole world. Whoever doesn't worship him uh, will be beheaded. Uh, whoever does not worship the statue uh, that is made in his image will be, uh, will be beheaded. Uh, and uh, they won't be able to buy or sell anything uh, if they don't take the mark of the beast in the seven-year tribulation. This is the things that we can be, uh, the church, the ones who believe in Jesus as their Lord and Savior. We can be, um, we can be saved from this. We don't have to be subject to this. We are not going to be subject to this. This evil man will come to do the work of Satan with counterfeit power and signs and miracles. He will, he will use every kind of wicked deception to fool those who are on their way to destruction because they refuse to believe the truth 
that would save them. And that is the gospel of Jesus Christ is what would save them, is what will save you, the gospel. Matthew, Mark, Luke, John, the whole New Testament, all of it will save you. The Old Testament will make you even stronger. It will save you also. So God will send great deception upon them, and they will believe all these lies. And this is the, the time period of the seven-year tribulation that he's saying he's going to send this deception. Then they will be condemned for not believing the truth and enjoying the evil they do. Um, so we have to believe in Jesus, you understand, and we have to always, always keep him in mind, man. So uh, I love y'all. just want to get that to y'all, you know. And, uh, you know, we have to be strong in this time. Uh, we have to be strong. We cannot budge in our faith. No one can tell us what we what we can believe in. Uh, we believe in Jesus Christ as our Lord and Savior. That God is His Father. God is our Father. We are accepted by the Father through His Son, Jesus Christ. The fact that He died for our sins and He rose back to life on the third day. Now He's at the right hand of our Father, waiting to come back. No one knows the day or the hour. But Jesus Christ is coming back, and he will gather all of his people from the far ends of the earth. So don't get the uh, the Lord's coming and the rapture uh, confused with the second advent or the uh, second coming of the Lord, the second part, uh, which is him destroying, Jesus destroying the Antichrist, who has, who will terrorize the whole world set himself up in the temple of God in Jerusalem as God and he will uh, unleash a slaughterhouse on the Jewish people. Um, it'll be the first time there's a one world government ever so you'll know it when you see it when it's one person running the whole world you'll remember Blake said that and I didn't listen to him at that time that's why I'm stuck in the seven year tribulation. Now I have to believe in Jesus because I know that Blake was telling the truth and he's gone. So is his family and so is all the people who believed in Jesus that he talked to and he preached to. They're all gone. They went to a better place. I need to get to a better place no matter the cost. Because once you take the mark of the beast, it's over for you. You're condemned to the second, the second death. The hellfire, the, the lake of fire that burns with sulfur and brimstone. You don't want you don't want that, you know what I'm saying? So if you don't make that this ship right here, if you don't get on Noah's ship, Noah's Ark, you know what I'm saying? And in this in this age, if you don't get on this ship, you know, Jesus Christ and ride this wave, even though uh you still have a chance in the seven year tribulation, just know it's gonna be a million times harder and the torture and the things that you're gonna see are gonna be the worst things that's ever been on the earth ever in life. So I know y'all don't want that, and, uh, you know, once you see all the things that the Lord is going to bring in this future, those who believe in Jesus Christ, you know what to be expected. Matthew chapter 24, Luke chapter 21, Luke chapter 17, Mark chapter 13, signs in the sky. We already didn't have the earthquakes, now it's signs in the sky, so we already had the earthquakes, the tsunamis, the pestilence, the diseases, the wars and rumors of wars, uh, armies surra surrounding Israel. Let's go, let's go to Luke chapter 21. And then we're going to go to Luke chapter 17. 